There's breaking news on Capitol Hill tonight, and they have the votes, or at least they think they do. Republican leaders in the House of Representatives saying tomorrow will be the day that they vote to repeal and replace Obamacare, unless it's not. We're going to pass it. We're going to pass it. Let's be optimistic about life. House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy sounding positive that he and House Speaker Paul Ryan finally have the votes they need to get rid of Obamacare once and for all. Just weeks after the embarrassment of a similar bill that had to be pulled for lack of support, Republicans say they've made enough changes to satisfy enough of their members to fulfill a promise that they've been making to voters almost since the day Obamacare was passed seven years ago. President said, Billy, Really need you. We need you, man. I said, you don't have me. President Trump pulling out all the stops, hosting two big GOP holdouts to hear their concerns. After the meeting, we're both yeses on the bill. So what cinched it? An $8 billion promise to cover people with pre-existing conditions, since the new version allows states to opt out of that coverage if they want to. What this amendment would do is provide additional funds directly into the high-risk pools to be, be uh, spent for people that might otherwise lose their coverage because of a waiver that a governor would seek. Don't expect any support from the Democrats. They think they can dupe the American people by saying, well, we were going to eliminate pre-existing conditions. It's a joke. It's a very sad, deadly joke. But even if Republicans can get their bill passed in the House, it still needs to pass the Senate. And that's where they would need to convince six Democratic senators to vote for a bill to repeal Obamacare, which might not be possible.